Hi everybody, hope you are all fine. This is Atik. I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. In order to find out the quality of a network, we need to have some criteria. Based on this criteria, we can determine the quality of the network. So today I am going to discuss about what is network criteria and what are the important factors on which we can determine the quality of a network. So dear students, A network should satisfy a network should satisfy the minimum criteria. What is that minimum criteria? Number one, its performance. We need to judge the performance of our network first. That is the first criteria. And the second criteria is reliability. How much reliable our network will be and the third one the third criteria is security how much secure our network will be so based on these three criteria, the quality of network can be determined so dear students let me discuss one by one that how our network depends upon these three criteria. First one is performance, second one is reliability, third one is security. How to judge the performance of a network? How we can find out the performance of a network? The performance of a network is generally determined by using four parameters. How many parameters? Four parameters. First one is transit time. Second one is the response time. Third factor, throughput and last fourth factor, delay. Okay, so dear students, in order to find out the performance of a network, we need to know these four attributes first. We need to find out them. One is the transit, transit time, response time, throughput and delay. What is the meaning of transit time? Let us say these are the two devices which want to communicate with each other device A and device B. Transit time is the amount of time it will take to transmit the data from device A to device B. This is a transit time. Is it right or not? Then what is the meaning of response time? Response time name if B has requested the data from A then how, much, how long A will take to respond? That is known as the response time. So you tell me Transit time and response time should be higher or lower to know that the, our network is having a good performance. The answer is transit time must be lower. So in a very less amount, less amount of time the data should be transmitted to B. And if B is requesting some data, uh, some data from A, then A should give the response as fast as possible within less amount of time. That's why I'm saying they must be lower in order to have a good performance in a network. This is transit time and response time. So based on these two parameters, also we can find out the performance of a network. And then continuation to this one, throughput and delay. What is the meaning of throughput? Throughput is nothing but the maximum amount of work that can be done in a time. So which means if A needs to transmit the data to B, let us say three times, then those three times the data should be transmitted in a very less amount of time without any failures. We call it as a throughput. And what is delay? If A want to send the data to B, let us say a lot of delay is happening due to the congestion problem, due to the traffic problem. Then what, am I, what happened automatically? Because of delay, there is a problem with throughput. Because of delay, there is a problem in response time. Because of delay, there is a problem in transit time also. So in order to judge our network and in order to have high performance, throughput must be high. Throughput must be high and delay must be low or less we can say it should have less delay and it should have more throughput then we can say our network is having good performance so this is the first criteria in which we can determine the performance of a network 
okay this is performance by using this four parameters we can find out the performance and the next criteria on which we can judge our network is based on reliability you know what is the meaning of reliability reliability means we need to depend on this network how we can depend on this network let us say from device a the data has been has been transmitted to device b then without any failure the data should easily transmit to b okay in case of any failure also it should try to overcome with that failure it should be able to rectify with that failure it should be able to recover from that failure this is how we can judge reliability here a reliability of a network is nothing but it should have less number of failures and in case of failure also it should be able to recover the failure in a less amount of time this is what reliability says then we can say our network is a good network this is second criteria that is reliability it should have less number of failures and the third criteria on which we can determine the quality of a network is security you know security is one of the most important criteria of any network if we are having a network with good connection if we are having a network with good communication if we are having a network with all the good networking devices but there is no privacy there is no security to our network then the first and second doesn't have any use that's why what security says prevent the network from unauthorized access prevent that information of our network from unauthorized people from intruders from hackers so this is what security parameter says so dear students if all these three criteria are satisfied then we can determine that the our network is having a good quality and it is having less number of errors i believe that you people have got an idea about the three criteria on which our network depends what are those one is performance second one is reliability and the third one is security so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah hafiz